All right, Katie, thank you. On to this one, 25 Investigates has learned a man was cremated in Boston with a loaded gun. Yeah, police report obtained by investigative reporter Ted Daniel says the gun went off several times inside the cremation chamber. He joins us live, and Ted, bodies are supposed to be examined before cremation. Mark Carey, the body had been at a hospital morgue for two months before a funeral home transported it directly to that crematorium in Boston. There was no viewing or funeral service here. Somehow, a loaded gun managed to go undetected by the hospital staff, funeral home workers, and the medical examiner's office. Heat shimmering from the stacks at St. Michael's Crematorium in Roslindale. This is where a body was cremated with a loaded gun. An employee told Boston police he heard approximately eight loud pop sounds, according to this report. When he went to remove the ashes, he found what appeared to be a firearm, along with firearm assembly components, ammunition, shell casings, and bullet fragments. In your 30 years, have you ever seen a loaded firearm go into a crematorium? Not in our crematories. Can't recall a, a gun in my, my tenure. Buddy Fanuff runs New Hampshire-based Fanuff Funeral Homes and Crematorium. He says bodies are typically fully clothed and in caskets or some type of box when they're cremated. He says his employees are required to perform multiple checks for any items on or around the deceased. And in New Hampshire, the medical examiner's office performs a separate inspection. They will generally check, you know, items of clothing to see if there's anything that we may have, have missed. Also be looking at the paperwork looking at the death certificate, cause of death, and the state is signing off authorizing the cremation. The Massachusetts Medical Examiner's Office is required to sign off on all cremations in this state. Families are charged $200 for that service. We asked the Medical Examiner's Office how the gun incident happened. A spokesperson tells us the OCME's role in authorizing a cremation is to verify the decedent's identity and visually confirm that their physical appearance is consistent with the assigned manner of death. And the office is deeply troubled by the notion that the safety of our staff, as well as those working at the hospital, funeral home, and crematorium was compromised by a firearm that went undetected at each of those settings. We also visited and left mul multiple messages for the director of St. Michael's Cemetery, where that crematorium is. We got no response. There was no information about the deceased in the police report. So, Mark and Carrie, we don't know how this person died, how old this person was, or Carrie, how that person ended up with a gun for all that time. And at each location, it was not detected. That is the big question tonight, Ted Daniel. Thank you.